Hello beautifuls, this is Aromi here, and welcome back to Sounds of Her Love. So we are here, we're gonna take out... Uh... <laughs> what is her name? Oh my god, I don't remember her name. I know it starts, it's it's pronounced with the K. K. So, K I forgot her name, sorry. But if you guys hear a fan, I, I am also sorry. <laughs> Excuse me, because it's hot in here. And I don't want to open the window and have the whole world hear me record, so, yeah. Neither of us continues speaking, giving the opportunity for my sister, rather, to rather abruptly sit down beside me. As expected, it looks like if she's had a bad day already. Her lethargy is all too apparent as it contrasts with my upbeat mood. She really doesn't do well in the mornings. Mmm, what time is it? Looking at my watch, I realize it's about time I left. Even though my sister goes to the same school, I find myself leaving earlier than her most days. Of course, I've had even more of a reason for doing so recently. It's almost 20 fa uh, 25 past. Shouldn't you be leaving then? Yeah, I should be. Getting up, I grab my bag and head towards the door. My sister, still in her typical mo monotonous voice, calls out to me at one last time. Tell the girl you're meeting I said hi. How does she know about Carrie? There you go. That's her name. Still, I don't have time to question her. She does go to the same school as me, so it's more likely that she's seen me hanging around with her. It's something I haven't thought about um, about, about until now. I honestly thought they went to the different schools. I thought she was, like, quite young. But apparently she goes to my school. I'll see you later. We go to the same school. Oh, that's right. It wouldn't make sense because she said she walks quicker than I do. Hmm. <laughs> Ignoring her request, I make my way out of the door. Despite being a bit... A, a bit late leaving. I should still get there on time. It's the emotional drive that's pushing me forward. Aren't we going on a date? Or is that like the next day? Not today. My pounding heart, my anxiety, the light sweat on my brow as the morning sunlight meets my face. All of these symptoms of my longing for Carrie. My love for her. I couldn't see her sooner. The late September sunlight shines down upon me as I stroll down the street with the with passion put into each step. It's autumn, though to me it still feels like summer. The frivolous attitude people can have towards life really kicks in at this time of year. At least for students like us, anyway. Since we follow a western curriculum, the school year had only started a few weeks ago. Nobody is really taking it seriously. To think that I had experienced this after re returning from the summer break. Being able to walk with a slight pang of nervousness as to go to meet the girl that I'd grown to love. All with my heart beating in a lively rhythm as I get closer and closer to the point in which we'll meet. The point where we first met. Oh! She doesn't have her glasses today. And she took her hair down. What's the special occasion? Uh, the continued walk brings Carrie into my sight, causing my heart to speed up as I watch her diligently play with her clothes, as if trying to make herself appear presentable. One thing which is made apparent is a distinct change of her style. Her hair, rather than being done in the cute braided manner I've become used to seeing, now flows downwards towards the floor, each strand glowing in the morning sun. The notable pair of glasses she wears seems to be missing as well. It's a striking contrast to how she normally looks, but it's not as if I haven't seen her like this before. The talk we had in her bedroom is all too memorable. As I approach her, Carrie looks towards me with a smile, rather than expressing surprise at my appearance. Something about her seems different, disregarding the obvious change in, in image. Good, good morning. How are you? Oh. There's slight lag, sorry. <laughs> I... I'm good. You, you, you look nice, Carrie. I struggle with getting the words through my mouth. As Carrie stands right before me, it wasn't like this yesterday. But now I know these feelings thoroughly seeing her overwhelmed. Thank you. I wanted to try something different. You know you're going to get more notice now, right? Right? I like... One day in school, I didn't have uh, my glasses and I put my hair up. And then all of a sudden, everybody noticed me. It was weird. The nerd went, like, unnerd. <laughs> Ending her sentence with a beam of happiness, Carrie looks towards me uh, towards me as she holds one, holds one arm with the other. It's almost as if she's nervous as well, both of us sharing the same feelings. 
looking over her again, I feel as if this look suits her as much as her braids did. Admittedly, she looked she did look cuter before, but today she seems just a little more mesmerizing. Maybe it's because of the affection I carry for her, but I know seeing her like this is something I will enjoy. That's if she keeps keeps the look. I thought he was to say if she keeps looking at me. <laughs> One thing is on my mind though. How are you supposed to see without your glasses? Carrie blushes, looking down at the floor and embarrassed. I'll wear them in school. It's just that I'm a little short-sighted is all. <laughs> is that a mosquito flying in my face? Excuse me? I'm not I down for that. I can see fine. That's all that matters. That's when you know summer and spring, or spring and summer are here. The birds, uh, the birds, the bugs are out. Her final line sends a flood of emotions through my mind, causing me to feel flustered, an expression which connects the two. I can see you fine. That's all that matters. Okay. I was just confused what she said. I was distracted by the bug. Carrie looks at me timidly, though I can feel something in her eyes. Is this the difference? Did he tell her? Shall we get going then? What? What did your dad tell you? That I have feelings for you? He was not supposed to tell you. I was supposed to tell you that myself. Yeah, yeah let's go. The two of us walk side by side, something we would definitely, well, we would usually be doing. Now, however, I feel as if that bridge between us has gotten shorter and shorter. The days when Carrie was away, feeling sad, are now behind us. Her newfound happiness seems to give me enough of an indication that she know, now knows that she no longer needs to feel troubled, that she has the future here. Today, I plan on crossing that bridge, the bridge to her heart. Aw, cute! That sounded so cute! The final minutes of class soon approach, my heartbeat acting as a metronome. Me metronome? As time continues forward, soon to face the lunch bell. I haven't had I haven't been able not, to think about anything but carry all day after seeing the cute way she gave me after we split up to to get to our respective classes. I've been dying to see her again. Upon hearing the chimes that mark the start of lunch, I stand up quickly enough to gain the attention of several classmates around me. I don't have time to be concerned about it though. The more time I spent here, the less time, the less I spend with Carrie. Walking out the door, I expect to see her cute face waiting for me as she usually does. However, in the corridor stands only the usual crowds of students waiting for their friends. Carrie isn't one of them. Instinct tells me to check her classroom, taking me down the corridor towards their room. I could have sworn that some of the people back there were in her class, though. There you are! I thought I had missed you. Where were you? Carrie approaches from behind, startling me as uh, startling me slightly, as I had assumed she would have been in her classroom rather than trailing after me. Well, where were you? Oh, sorry. I was in a call with my father. Shall we head to the cafeteria? Yeah. Uh, okay, let's go. Really, Carrie seems even happier than she was this morning. It's strange. I would have assumed that Mr. Irwood had told her earlier, given by how energetic she seemed when compared to yesterday. However, now it's like I'm facing a Carrie filled with a newfound spirit. Just what did he tell her during that call? Carrie and I turn down the corridor to begin our time together at lunch. She still carries a beam of happiness across her face. It's a nice sight, though I'm used to seeing her smiling timidly with a blush. If he did tell her, I would have assumed she would have told me. Or maybe not. Carrie doesn't even know that I'm aware of the custody issue. Oops, didn't finish reading. So maybe that's why she hasn't said anything. Either way, I'm glad that Carrie's finally free of worry and can be happy again. The only issue now is to get closer to her. Close enough for her to hear my feelings. Just tell her. <laughs> As we enter the cafeteria, it's hard, to, hard for me to act calm. My mind continues to spin whenever I look in her direction. It shouldn't have taken this long to get to the cafeteria, but maybe my sense of time is flowing ever so slower. It's hard to act calm around her now that my feelings are in control, and given that there are no issues stopping our hearts from binding, it's just a matter of time before I let them out. Going by her father's words, she must be feeling something too. She must be forcing herself to act with passion, as if to make an impression. It's not really needed, but it's cute to see her do so. If her father can be trusted, then us coming together is an inevitability. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> Eventually, school ends on a rather usual note. If it wasn't for my outing with Carrie, I would usually be feeling pretty ap apathetic at this point. During lunch, neither of us really spoke to each other, despite Carrie's prior confidence. I think inside, both of us know that getting our feelings out is going to be a difficult task. Hopefully, this date 
can provide the groundwork for us to forge our relationship. The school bell rings, pumping up the speed of my heart. I now face something I've wanted for a while, something I've longed for. Hopefully I can get it done effectively. Hopefully I can bring this together. Outside stands Carrie, waiting for me as usual with a slight blush on her face. She knows as much as I do that we're about to embark on a journey that'll change us. For the worse or better, it's whoever gives in first that'll truly set things off. Shall we get going? Yeah. I never told her where I wanted to take her. All I said was, would you like to go somewhere with me? Hindsight tells me that choosing somewhere, something for us to do, just to set an atmosphere, would have been a good idea. However, I think that neither of us really care that much. We just want to spend time together. Starting our slow pace. <laughs> I freaked out. <laughs> I have a little uh, baby monitor that Tyler and I put out for our dogs. Because we can't watch them sometimes because they're not allowed in our room, because Tyler's allergic. So, Ace is a black lab, and he just moved right past the camera, and it scared me, because I thought it was a shadow. It's only Ace, and he's barking at nothing. Okay. Yeah. Did I read that line? I don't know. Start, <laughs> start, starting our slow pa place. Place? Slow place? I think pace. Through the corridor, I feel something grasp my hand. Did she really... S -s -s Sorry. She looks really disgusted. I don't think that's the face she was supposed to make. I, I got used to you taking me places like that. When did I do that? When? <laughs> when? When did I do that? Nervousness strangles my voice. I can't get anything out. Part of me wants to just take hold of her hand. Part of me wants to tell her right now, I love you. Just, just hold her hand. Though something is stopping me from doing it. Something is stopping me from moving forward. Excuse me? <laughs> I don't know why I have YouTube subscription alerts. <laughs> While I'm recording, why am I doing this? We arrive in the center of town together after spending a long period of the journey passively giving each other an occasional glance. An awkward but somehow enjoyable atmosphere. One that's always been between us. There's never been a moment where I haven't enjoyed spending time with her. It's just now there's a lot more attention on that bare aura that crosses between us and our hearts. The late afternoon sun provides a canopy of tranquility, the two of us remaining silent as we look towards one another. I'd love to know what she's thinking right now. It can't be any different than what's going through my mind. Carrie is the one to break the silence. Well, we're here. Where are we? What should we do? Although I was the one to invite her out here, on that advice her father gave, I still have no idea as to what I should do with her. Anything that involves spending time with her, I'm bound to find pleasurable. Is there anything you wanted to do, Carrie? I think I've just managed about just just about managed to control the uneasiness in my voice. I just want to spend time with you. Both of us have come to the same conclusion. We really don't care what it is we do, as long as we do it together. Carrie blushes at her own statement, causing me to feel a sense of warmth inside. This feeling is usually described as having butterflies in the stomach. They must be going pretty crazy then. Can we just go to a park? Each second we spend, to to spend together causes me to adore her more. A deep sense of affection flowering from the seed she had placed in my heart. Okay. Should we go for a walk? Carrie nods her head, looking at me with a sense of emotion. Her eyes are fixed on me, though I can't deny mine being fixed on her. We start to walk again, making our way further into town. Carrie's golden hair flows down her back, ruffled around periodically by slight breezes passing. It makes her all the more attractive. Oh, we are at a park. Whew! Our unplanned stroll together takes us to a part of town famed, famed by students as the date spot. Numerous couples can be seen enjoying the view of the city, instances of people I falling in love. I want to tell you something. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I'm supposed to tell you something. <laughs> Carrie walks ahead of me, quickly turning back to face me with her reddened face. Instead of directing her eyes away as she normally would, she locks them with mine. I wanted to thank you for being there for me. She's not, like, walking backwards, is she? Because you might run into someone, and that's going to ruin this Recently, movie. I've been going through a lot. 
Words flow from Carrie's mouth, a river of emotion with the source deep within her heart. I have a feeling as to what she's going to tell me, though I appreciate being able to hear each and every word. The experience I knew she had gone through told her from her told from her own perspective and her very words. You knew things weren't going well with my parents. They were going through a divorce. I nod in response to her words. I don't want to interrupt her. My mother wanted to take me away. It hurt me. I thought I'd have to leave my father. I thought I'd have to leave you. Nope, not happening. I didn't want to do that. And now, I'm happy. I was told I was going to stay with my father. I'm happy because I finally get to tell you. Oh, tell me what? Oh, 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 oh. That you want to stay friends? Whoa. I love you! Wow! Holy... <laughs> She's so cute! Aww. It's just so weird that the change of uh, art all of a sudden... <laughs> Carrie once again lifts her eyes, looking towards me with a sense of embarrassment on her face. Her feelings released from her heart. Inside it makes me happy. One of us was bound to let our feelings known to the other at some point today. Now that it's finally happening, part of me feels content, overwhelmed with the emotion of love. Both my own and Carrie's. It's been like that for a while. Whoa, a while? You gave me the opportunity to speak to someone. To feel this way. That's why I had to tell you. Oh. Carrie stands still, almost frozen as she breathes heavily. <laughs> I watch her tremble slightly. She continues looking in my direction, playing with the end of her hair as it rests down her, at her side. A small gust causes her skirt to flap around and quickly push down by her left hand. Now that she's reached out for me, uh, reached out to me, sorry, I feel as if it's time to do the same to tell her how I feel. I'm happy, Carrie, because well, I love you too. Ah! That's right. <laughs> Carrie looks up in surprise. Her face still red and shines in the afternoon sun from where she had been sweating from nervousness. After spending time with you, I realized what it is I look was uh, what it is I was looking for looking for. I was able to find something in those moments, the moments I've enjoyed. That's why, Carrie, I want to thank you too. Both of us here together have managed to become different people. Before Carrie was a timid girl, her feelings, her thoughts, locked inside because of bad experiences, being bullied, her parents going through a divorce, all of it was painful for her. The thing that she managed to find something in me, it was a wonderful feeling. On the other hand, before I met her, I was just a new transfer. Nobody really showed much of an interest in me. Meeting her gave me the chance to connect with someone, change my outlook on life. That's why I'm glad I met her. I'm so happy! I can't believe it! Don't worry, you're not dreaming. Carrie smiles at me, a smile more than one, sim one of simple gratitude. It's one filled with love. I'm glad our feelings are mutual. It would be awkward if it wasn't. Me too. I was going to confess to you today, but you beat me to the punch. <laughs> Over the past two weeks, we've managed to form something together. It's a short amount of time when looking back, but I don't think I'll ever forget the events which have brought us together from meeting her by chance on the street to being able to fall in love it's a cliche but it's one which i cherish both of us are happy happy that we were able to make that connection now it's time for us to move forward to forge really forge a relationship the events that troubled us are now in the past what we have to do now is clear we have to be there for each other an easy task considering how much we've spent time together how much time we've been spending together or something along those lines. In the end, we're glad. Glad that we're able to hear one another. The sounds of her love. The girl I love. Carrie. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Oh, that was so beautiful. That was beautiful. I love that. Thank you, developer. It was a beautiful game. I actually love that. I love the music. Now I can say my uh, opinion on it. Because usually I play Otomi games, 
but it's it's nice to have a change of pace. But it was cute. They're they're a cliche kind of love, but that's what I love, guys. I love the cheesy stuff. My favorite all time is like childhood stories. <laughs> childhood relationships, because that is so cute. Especially like in real life when people find pictures of like uh, their younger self taking a photo at like Disney or something and then their like lover is in the background and then they, they freak out yeah that kind of stuff I live for but I don't think that's happened to Tyler and I I think maybe I'm hoping maybe one day I will have find like my best friend in one of my pictures when I get a best friend <laughs> I have a lot of acquaintances no one worthy of the best friend spot besides Tyler. But Tyler's my boyfriend, so that's instant best friend. And my brother is instant best friend because he's my brother. Rinpi. Rinpai? Rinpi? But I do enjoy this game. It's very beautiful. Especially the music. I'm kind of sad we didn't get to see her harp. Since it's part of the logo, I didn't get to see her harp. I didn't play a very huge role <laughs> in this game. But anywho, that's it for Sounds of Her Love. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Um, I'm pretty sure there's bad endings, so if you want to go try that out for yourself, I don't want. I hate bad endings. I usually end up with them majority of the time. I, I prefer not to do that for this game. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Stay beautiful, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Or well, not in the next one, in the future. So. Again, if you guys if if you guys have games you want me to play, definitely just comment down below. And I'll check out the game and see if I can record it. All right, now I'll see you guys in the future.